Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Alpha and today we have another challenge video. So this challenge video today will be on Lily's team challenge. Uh, can she beat Pokemon Sun and Moon with her team? Now, her team is dependent on what exactly is it? Is it her anime team? Is it her game team? Now her game team consists of different Pokemon and her anime team is consists of a lot of different Pokemon as well. Technically, she owns in the anime an Alolan Vulpix named Snowy and in the games we do see her with Cosmo. Also find out that she has other Pokemon but you know what, let's mix them together because some people were disappointed I didn't use the anime team last time I used Don's team even though I obviously talked about the fact that Dawn's team is really good I could you, could you could easily beat it with that come on but um so we'll mix it together this time anime and game we'll have Snowy the Alolan Vulpix and as well Nebby the Cosmog when I thought of this I was like yes this is good because now I could bypass Potown and don't have to get stuck on it and spawn in a second Pokemon and say the challenge is over right there so that is great from the start but I didn't know how important it this Nebby could be because Nebby obviously learns Splash. That's about it. Anyways, the rules are followed. We only use these two Pokemons on our team. We don't catch any other Pokemons. Well, besides Solgaleo that we are forced to catch. But that's about it. And we don't use items, of course, just like regular things. We do use Z moves. Well, one Z move in particular, but we do use how items and Z moves. And that should sum up all the rules for this challenge video. And also, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. I've spent the last 24 hours awake playing Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yes, yes, I've spent that much time, and I'm so tired. And if you guys have that game, please add me on my Switch code right here. Um, I've finally finished going through all my Switch codes as well. And I've added everyone who's added me, and, you know, we're having a great time on Pokemon Sword and Shield. However, I'm very, very tired and I have to get this video up. Unfortunately, this video might seem a bit rush. I'm sorry, I really want to play Sword and Shield more. So to start, How is really the only person we're fighting a lot. Um, How has a Pichu to start in this battle and, you know, in these battles, we're pretty much well off because we are somewhat stronger than the baby Pokemon he has. Nebby comes in, takes some hits. I wanted to gauge what it wanted to do. Sometimes it just stops attacking me, and that's it's wonderful. It just stops attacking me. It doesn't hit me for a long time, and I can, I can just knock it out. So, luckily, it's not a required fight to win or lose, so it doesn't matter. And then we go into the shop, get some uh, Drip Drip to look like Lily, since we are trying to play Lily's team. Uh, last time I did this with Nurse Joy, I was a man. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was not in the right mind space in that one. Anyways, we battle Lima, and... The first time went pretty poorly, actually. His Young Goose leered me a lot, and then his Smurgo comes out and just tackles me. And I, when I try to switch out, this thing caught me. This thing knocks out my Nebby. And then I come in, and it has Ember. And I was like, oh, well, 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 damn. Well, damn. Well, damn. Who, <laughs> it really caught me off guard. Uh, so, anyways, we had to refight Lima, and we finally beat him. And then we head into the actual trial itself, which is Gumshoe's little trial. This thing is awful. However, 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 this thing might be awful, and we might have done this quickly. This this hollow fight is the worst. Is the absolute worst, mainly because he's fighting type and I'm ice type, so that's a bad mix to begin with. I'm also a baby Pokemon. So that's a bad thing, bad defense, and also he has a Z move. Basically, I have to play around a lot. So firstly, it has to use focus energy on the first turn, or it's just getting annoying. Um, and then I have to rely on confusing his Crab Brawler in the back. The problem with the Crab Brawler is that it is the fighting Z move Pokemon that he has on the team. So to mitigate that because it one shots me regardless of what I do it also breaks through confusion guaranteed so I have to switch into Cosmog and then switch back into my ball picks to avoid the Z move and then confuse it and then knock it out with my icy wing which is two shot KO and if everything goes right which it never does it took me like an hour we kill the Makuhita in like a few shots as well as long as it just doesn't attack me with an arm thrust and we win that is the luckiest thing we got 
anyways we're actually heading into my favorite one of my favorite totems of all time totem wishy-washy i just really love it's like entrance and when it came out i thought i love wishy-washy too bad it just became a not good pokemon which is a shame it looks cool i like it it was a cool concept pokemon's not too afraid to like reach out of the comfort zone sometimes but you know it's pretty cool for their pokemon at least and i liked it sucks that it wasn't a good pokemon and the t we beat the totem honestly there's nothing much i can say about that the next really big roadblock is i guess the fire one but fortunately for that alolan vulpix actually learns a psychic move extra sensory so yeah, it's that's pretty bad for salazo honestly it just dies and then luckily this venoshock doesn't do 20 damage and then we sniped it and gang shit guys gang shit we beat the fire totem and this is actually where the fun begins because once we hit like flow 50 i forget uh we actually get a new move which is insane we this little vulpix gets sheer cold out of every single move that it is available sheer cold excuse me who let this thing has sheer cold but anyways so sheer cold is a one hit ko move that has 30 accuracy so you can't rely on it too much and also it's unaffected to pokemon who are higher level than you but of course since we're doing a solo run basically it, no, nothing will be higher level than us so we are relying on this 30 percent chance to do a lot case in point guzma we can't kill guzma any other way so we're gonna rely on sheer code and luckily we hit it on our first attempt too and then extra sensory knocks out his aerial dose and we're in get in lads get in Right, the next little mini boss will be losing me. I'm sorry if I'm cutting a lot. Number one, very tired. Number two, want to play Sword and Shield. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about Sword and Shield so far in the comments. I'm going to put out a giant like review video essay one day. Uh, it's in the works. I got all the footage record. I just got to keep playing. Anyways, we get into losing me. We hit two sheer codes back to back. That's insane. And so we're trying to go for the triple kill. Luckily, it's a mismagius, so we're just going to hit it with our Z move instead, so we don't have to rely on 30%. But this battle is looking pretty good. I swear, though, I swear, though, this battle is harder than the later fight, where he, she's all amped up, because here, I just died. It's like, I'm not faster than Lilligant, and that's about it. Lilligant just beats me, and we don't have to beat Lucimine here to progress, so it's not a bad thing. I'm, I'm not complaining. But once we get the rematch with Lucimine where she's amped up, you can see some tomfoolery here. Let's begin. So firstly, we sheer code her boosted up Clefable. Boom. And then Beware comes out, gets the same fate as it did earlier. Even though if this miss, Beware is the biggest threat. So luckily it didn't miss. And then Miss Magius comes out. It pain splits regardless. Like it's the first move it ever does. So we're just going to take advantage of that Z move it and kill it. That's three down two to go so next up is little again as little again's not gonna do shit uh next up will be my low tick my low tick hits me pretty hard and then i sure cold it so we hit three we ice beam little again and we z move z ghost the miss maggie's i don't know what i'm talking about all right to get through hala's elite four trial we have to flinch the hariyama and then we have to flinch everything else with extra sensory and then we use cosmog as bait for the close combat and then we kill it and then that's about it right all right moving along we get to olivia's rock chamber and we beat it well we just we just beat it very luckily though uh we got paralyzed here and then she decides to withdraw her relicam into an ice beam from my vulpix and then dies so that's her fault i guess anyways her the next elite four member will be the flying one uh here's a quick summary of it i use ice beam she dies Anyways, we head into the champion fight, which is against Professor Kokoi. Kokoi is pretty annoying, I'm not gonna lie. The main issue here is that Lightning Rock outspeeds me, and I'm already at the champion fight. So, what do we do? We have to hope it misses. So, we try to manipulate the RNG here, you know, just try to switch into Cosmog. Nope, it just doesn't hit, just miss. Never fucking misses. It just doesn't want to miss. But the one time it does, we hit it with a sheer cold. Joke's on him. And then Incineroar obviously is a big threat. So we're going to have to rely on sheer cold again. Magnezone misses all its thunder waves. And then we luckily hex it to death. And then we sheer cold the Snorlax. We can't sheer cold the Magnezone because it has sturdy. 
or I assume it has sturdy, that's why I didn't use it. If it didn't, well, then I messed up. And then we luckily, we got a crit on this Alolan Ninetales that you safeguard, and it died. Thank God, we beat Professor Kogoi with Lily's team, and Lily's now the champion of Alola. And now I could get some sleep. So thank you for watching all, all the way to the end. My name's been Alpha. I'm so sorry if I sound so dead in this. I've just been up so long playing Sword and Shield. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think of Sword and Shield in the comments. My name's Alpha. And I'm out. Peace.